Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. Now many people who do the gaming and editing on their PC, they have the problem where their game is crashing or freezing both on Windows 10 and 11 while playing game or rendering. Now before proceeding, the first thing that I would recommend you that please ensure that the game or the application that you are trying to enjoy on your PC or your laptop, make sure that it meets the minimum PC requirement. So if you're playing any kind of high graphic game or any application and you have a low end PC that doesn't meet the minimum PC requirement, then there is nothing that can help you out. If this is not the issue, you have a good end PC and it's still if you have the problem, then the first thing that you will have to keep in your mind that your BIOS is up to date. And then outdated BIOS can lead to game crashing problem and majority of the time the people complaining that because of the outdated graphic driver they had the game crashing problem. Alright so for that what you can do you can click on your windows search type system then from the suggestion you have to click on system information. Now here it says BIOS version date. Now you can see that I have the latest BIOS version that is 223. 2023 but in case if you find the bios version date here that is of 2021 or like 2017 18 then you are having the game crashing problem probably because of this outdated bios so i've already created a video that how you can update your bios because you will need a usb drive in order to make it bios flash and then you have to update it you can quickly watch that video update your bios come back to this video and the next thing that you have to ensure that your CPU, RAM and the disk usage is not going close to 100%. So for that, right click on the Windows icon, then you have to click on Task Manager. Now here you will see all your CPU, memory and the disk usage. Now in case if you find any one of them that is going above 90% and very close to 100%, then all kind of your game application will be surely crashing or it will be freezing or lagging. All right, so you will have to reduce this. So instantly what you can do, you can just go ahead and close the application that you are currently not using while playing game or using any application. Or if you want to permanently fix this problem, then I have also created a video on this. You can check that out. And then next, we also need to update the graphic driver as the outdated graphic driver can also cause such kind of problem. For that, right click on the Windows icon. Then from the list of suggestions, click on Device Manager. Now here in the device manager, you have to look for the display adapter, double click on it and now it will display your graphic card if it's AMD, Intel, Nvidia, whichever you're using, it will be displayed over here. So whichever it is, right click on it, then click on update driver, click search automatically for drivers and if there are update available, it will automatically update it. But if you find that it's already updated, then I also recommend you that you should manually go to the manufacturer website and install the driver manually from there. So for AMD, you can go to the AMD website. There you will be getting an auto detect option through which you can automatically download the driver. Similarly, you can do for the Intel or for any graphic manufacturer. So once you are done, next we also need to make some changes with the power plan. So click on your Windows search, type power cfg.cpl hit the enter key now here you will see all kind of your power plan and from here you have to choose high performance or ultimate performance now in case you don't find it over here then you can click on show additional plan then you might see the high performance over here now in case if you don't find either the high performance or ultimate then i have created a video that is a short video that how you can enable this high performance or the ultimate performance so once you have selected on the right hand side you will find change plan setting click on it then click change advanced power settings and now here you have to look for processor power management double click on it and here you'll find two different entries minimum and the maximum processor state so first you need to click on minimum processor state and make sure the setting is set to 95 percent and the same you have to do with the maximum processor state. Click on it and make it to 95%. So once you are done, you can close it. Now next, we also need to make sure that you don't have any kind of unwanted application that you don't identify or you don't use. 
So on your Windows 10 or 11, right click on the Windows icon, then click on settings. From the left in menu option, click on apps. Then click on installed apps or apps and features. Now here it will display all kind of application and program installed on your computer. Now you need to look over the list here, scroll down and whatever application you feel you don't identify or you don't use, simply click on the three dot and uninstall them. This is very important. It will be improving the performance, crashing problem and even it will create some extra storage for you. Now the game crashing problem can also be because of some kind of antivirus that probably is blocking some of your file. So what you can try, you can try disabling the antivirus program temporarily. So if you're using any third party antivirus, click on the system tray icon at the right hand corner. Look for your antivirus icon, right click on it and choose quit. Now if you're using the Windows security, then you can click on your Windows search, type virus. Click virus and threat protection and then here you will find virus and threat protection setting. Click on manage setting and disable the real time protection cloud delivered protection and automatic sub sample submission. So once you have disabled it, you also need to create an exception in the firewall for your game or application where you have the problem with. So click on your Windows search, type allow an app, click allow an app through Windows firewall. Now here you have to click on change settings, then click on allow another app, then click on browse. Now you need to locate to that particular game or application that is crashing or freezing. So let's say I have problem with my video editing software that is Filmora. Now this can be anything. So let's say if you want to add any game, then you have to click on your windows search, type the name of the game, right click on the game icon, then click on open file location. Again, right click on it, then choose open file location. Now copy the path from the top and then you can close this box. Again, click on browse, then paste the path at the top, hit the enter key. Now select the game icon or the application icon, then click on open and then click on add. Now once the game will be added, just make sure that this public and the private option both are being checked. Then click on OK and then you can close it. Now finally we also need this game or application to the high graphic performance so it can improve the graphic performance of that particular game or application. So click on your Windows search, type graphic, then click on graphic settings. Now here click on browse. Now again you have to paste the path of that particular game. So you can click on the Windows search, type that particular game name or application name, then right click on it, choose open file location. Again, right click on it, choose open file location, then copy the path, close it, come back to the graphic setting, again click on browse, paste the path at the top, hit the enter key, now select that game icon, then click on add, and once the game will be added, you will see over here, then you have to click on options, and make sure it's been selected to high performance, then you have to click on save, and then you can close it. And once you are all done with all these settings, finally restart your PC and after that I'm pretty sure that you will not be having any crashing problem with that particular game or application. Only just keep in your mind that you have to apply all the solution that I just shared in this video. And if you found this video helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye bye.